We interrupt our normal program. Normal broadcasting will now be discontinued for an indefinite period. This station will continue to stay on the air throughout the alert period to bring you authentic information. Telephone service to your home may be cut off. If you can plug in your radio in the basement, take it with you. Use a portable radio set if you have one. If you're new to using JS8 Call, you'll soon realize configuring the software can be confusing and a little frustrating if you don't know where to begin. So I wanted to do a quick video sharing the JS8 Call settings I'm currently using with my Yesu FT710. The software settings I'll cover also worked with one of my other rigs, which is a Yesu FT891. Although with the 891, I did need to use a Digi rig to get everything working, whereas with the 710, I was able to get the radio working right out of the box with the JSA call software in about 20 minutes. Depending on the rig you're using, you may still need to experiment and perhaps do some online research on your specific radio until you get everything working just right. You can download the software from the website jsacall.com and click on the download button at the top of the page. I'm a Windows shop, so that's the version I'll be using for this video. Out of the box, the 710 is easy to set up. And to get started, you can use the preset data modes by either using the touchscreen or short pressing this mode button. And either method will display a pop-up and I'll show you how to get into the mode settings. So I short press the mode button and you can see the uh, pop-up or you can just use the touch screen and then you can long press this preset button and then a preset menu will uh, appear and you can use the function button to scroll through any of the settings and anything in yellow is default anything in white are settings that I've changed so all I've changed on this one is the name of the mode and you can just back out of there but the one that I want for JS8 is this data U uh, mode now that the radio is in data mode, I'll launch the JS8 call software and walk you through those settings. If you don't know what JS8 call is, from a high level, it combines a weak signal mode with a messaging and network protocol for weak signal communication and allows you to send and retrieve messages keyboard to keyboard. Before I get into the software settings I'm using for my 710, if you're interested in taking a deep dive into JS8 Call, there's an excellent video by the YouTube channel Ham Radio Made Simple. And the guy that runs that channel does an excellent job of going into detail about the software. That video is a little over an hour long, so if you're uh, going to watch it, you're going to want to strap in for that one. I know with many long-form videos, people's eyes tend to glaze over and they tend to... Uh, fast forward, but due to the complexity of JS8 call, I recommend you watch the whole video. Otherwise, you'll miss a lot of important detail. I'll leave a link below uh, to that video, and here's what that looks like. So on his channel, you scroll down, and like I said, I'll leave a link, but it's titled JS8 call from A to Z covering the basics to advanced settings in one video. And so he talks about the settings and then what he'll do is he'll provide a demo where he walks you through uh, everything that he just talked about in the software. But for the purposes of this video, it's not a deep dive. It's for those who might be looking to compare notes specific to the FT710 so they can get up and running. Okay, I've got my settings open and I'll start with the behavior tab. Uh, I have everything selected except for receiver off at startup, transmitter off at startup, and then I've deselected the reset band activity. Over on networking and auto reply, I have allow heartbeat transmissions outside of uh, heartbeat subchannel. 
Uh, and then I have pause heartbeat transmission while in QSO selected, and then uh, turn auto reply on at startup. Over on the radio tab for my rig, I have the Yesu FT DX 101D selected, and then I have the radio button for CAT selected, data packet, and rig all selected. On the CAT control, I have COM port 7 selected because that's the COM port that my computer is using. Yours might be different. Uh, data bits are set to 8, stop bits are set to 2, and then I have my handshake set to hardware. On the audio tab, I have my USB audio device set for my microphone as well as for my speakers. And then for reporting, I have enable spotting to reporting network selected uh, as well as uh, enable spotting uh, to at APRSIS selected. Under API, I've got allow setting station information selected and I have all four of these boxes checked as well. Uh, nothing really for frequencies and nothing really for save messages. Under notifications, you can uh, select which notifications you want, and then you would have to map um, where the uh, sound file is for that. In the JS8 video that I mentioned, Ham Radio Made Simple um, actually shows you how to set this up. In the menu under mode, I have JS8 set to slow. You don't have to run yours at that. That's just what I'm doing. You can run yours at normal if you want or fast. Decoder sensitivity, I have mine set at one. And then I have enable simultaneous decoding, auto reply, and heartbeat networking all checked. Under view, I have show frequency and clock, band activity, band heartbeats and acknowledgements all checked. And then show band activity columns, I have all of these checked as well. My sort band activity by, I just have that set to frequency offset. And then I have my show call activity checked. Under show call activity columns, I have everything checked except the uh, bottom three, which is worked before log name and log comment. These are all just personal preferences. You don't have to do that, of course. Uh, and then I have my sort call activity by call sign show waterfall, show waterfall controls, uh, status bar, and uh, I do show my tooltips. Under control, I have enable receiver. I don't have my transmitter selected at the moment. And then I have enable reporting selected. And I think that's really about it as far as my uh, settings are concerned. Anyway, that's just a brief walkthrough of the settings I've been using. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.